Welcome everybody. Today we are learning English phrases from Rick and Morty. Let's do this. Why would you learn English from some suit and tie professor when you could learn it from an alcoholic mad scientist, his horny grandson, and an alien that serves free food? <laughs> Open up that notepad app and get ready to learn English from Rick and Morty and their adventures, Morty. Rick and Morty forever and forever 100 years. Our story begins with Rick. He's in outer space with his grandkids, Morty and Summer. They receive an emergency message from an alien ship. It asks them for help. Rick decides to go investigate. His hope is that the aliens are dead and he can steal all their things. They arrive and the aliens are still alive. They tell the story of how their friends were attacked. An evil creature got inside their bodies and controlled their brain. Once their friends were controlled by the creature, they attacked and infected everybody else. Rick says that the creature is probably on the ship. At that moment, two of the aliens attack their friends and vomit in their mouths. Rick says, Called it. Called it. To call it means to guess correctly or to predict correctly. Rick is saying that he correctly predicted that the evil creature is still on the ship. The evil creature infects all the aliens and now controls their brains. The creature then says, Hello, Rick. It turns out this creature controlling all the aliens is Rick's ex-girlfriend. Her name is Unity, and Rick introduces her to Morty and Summer. They all leave together and land on a planet. Unity conquered the whole planet and now controls all the people on it. Rick leaves Morty and Summer to spend some time alone with Unity. Morty and Summer also hang out with Unity, who promises not to vomit in their mouths and control their brains. Meanwhile, back on Earth, Rick's daughter, Beth, and her loser husband, Jerry, are having a huge fight. Rick uses the garage as his science lab. So Beth tells Jerry he can't be in there because Rick would get mad. Jerry says, What's he gonna do? Crash rent free at his other family's house? What's he gonna do? Crash rent free at his other family's house? Rent is what you pay to use something. If you don't own something, but you are paying to use it, that is called rent. It's a verb and a noun. It's commonly used with housing. So for example, you can rent a house or you can rent an apartment. Rent free is an adjective that means you can use something without having to pay for it. To crash means to live with someone for a short period of time. This verb is used with the preposition at. So for example, I'm crashing at my friend's house for tonight. So in the show, Jerry is mad at Rick because he's living in their house without paying any money. What's he gonna do? Crash rent free at his other family's house? Jerry eventually finds a secret room underneath the garage. He and Beth hear a loud animal sound and go inside to investigate. Rick and Unity are talking about their past relationship and decide to get back together. Elsewhere, Unity is pampering Morty and Summer. Morty is having a good time, but Summer believes that Unity is evil because she controls people's minds and doesn't allow them to be free. Meanwhile, Rick and Unity are having some happy fun time when Unity's friend arrives. Beta 7 is a creature like Unity that infects people and controls their minds. He pees sitting down and eats corn like this. Yeah. Rick asks Unity if she wants to party and do some alien drugs. Unity hesitates and says, Uh, okay, what the hell? Okay, what the hell? You use this expression when you are not sure if you want to do something, but then decide to do it anyway. Unity wasn't sure if she wanted to party with Rick, but eventually she said yes. So she said, what the hell? Uh, Okay, what the hell? Beta 7 gets super jealous that Unity is going to get wild and crazy with Rick. Elsewhere, Summer goes around the city trying to wake people up and remove Unity's control over them. Unity explains that the people's lives have improved so much since she conquered them. Unity introduces Morty and Summer to a man that used to be a criminal. He used to do bad things with 
children. What? But ever since Unity controlled his mind, he's now a law-abiding citizen. Summer doesn't believe Unity's story. Unity is still partying with Rick when she starts to vomit everywhere. People all over the planet regain control of their minds. They start remembering who they were and how great their lives were before Unity conquered them. Race war! So, it turns out that the people of this planet were in the middle of a race war. What were their races? Well, one race of aliens has spiral-shaped nipples and the other race has cone-shaped nipples. And because of these huge differences, they are having a genocidal war. I'm definitely on Team Comb Nipples. Riots erupt all over the planet and the people are destroying each other. They find Morty and Summer and attack them when they see their human nipples. The mob is about to delete Morty and Summer when Unity arrives to save them. Morty discovers that Unity is drunk and wants her to drink some water instead so she doesn't crash the helicopter they're in. Unity says, No, if I wanted to be sober, I wouldn't have gotten drunk. No, if I wanted to be sober, I wouldn't have gotten drunk. Sober is the opposite of drunk. It means you aren't under the influence of any drugs or alcohol. No, if I wanted to be sober, I wouldn't have gotten drunk. Unity takes the kids to Rick, who is also totally drunk. Morty and Summer demand that Rick come home with them. Unity asks Morty and Summer a question. Are you a concerned grandchild or just a buzzkill? Are you a concerned grandchild or just a buzzkill? Concerned means to be worried about something. A buzzkill is someone that ruins the fun or ruins a party. Are you a concerned grandchild or just a buzzkill? After seeing how the people behaved after Unity lost control of their minds, Summer believes that Unity is actually a good person and that Rick is having a bad influence on her. Rick gets mad and says, Take a hike. Take a hike. To take a hike means to leave or to go away. But it is a very rude way of telling someone to leave. Take a hike. Rick says he's staying with Unity and not going home with Summer and Morty. Back on Earth, Jerry and Beth are investigating the secret room they found underneath the garage. They find an alien down there. They have no idea why Rick has an alien underneath the garage. But instead of trying to figure out why the alien is there, Jerry and Beth continue fighting and yelling at the top of their lungs. Their annoying voices cause so much pain for the alien that he breaks out of his chains. He tells them that they are the absolute worst and that they are fighting because they hate each other. He calls them more names and then leaves. Rick is now alone with Unity. She begins to feel bad about what happened between Rick and his grandkids. Rick obviously doesn't feel bad and believes his grandkids are whiny, pathetic weaklings. Rick goes to the bathroom and says, Back in a flash. Back in a flash. This phrase means I'll be back soon or I will return shortly. Back in a flash. When Rick returns from the bathroom, Unity is gone. Rick finds a letter from her saying that she can't be with him anymore. Their relationship is fun and exciting, but it's also corrupting her mind and emotions. She explains her love for Rick and tells him goodbye forever. Rick returns home to his family, but doesn't tell them what happened between him and Unity. Rick goes into the garage and tries his best to bury the pain deep inside of him. And that's it, that's the show. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, let me know down below in the comments. Go ahead and like the video, share the video, and subscribe to the channel. I'm that crazy mulatto. Now get the hell out of my face. You kids have nice feet. Mind if I take a picture?